Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try our hand at solving a problem like this where we're looking for the second moment of area with respect to the x-axis of this triangular shaped area. Now the general equation is the double integral of y squared dA because typically you express dA as a dx dy, a very small little area element. But in this particular case we can probably make it a little bit easier by simply calling dA this area element right here. I think we can get away with that. That means we simply just need a single integral and dA then simply becomes the width which is x times the height which is dy. And that will work just fine. So sometimes you can shortcut the method a little bit like that. Now what we need to also do here is realize that we have a y squared and when we plug in the dA let's see what we get. We have uh, i sub x is equal to the integral of y squared and dA is now going to be x times dy and so since we have a differential of dy we want to replace x by what's equivalent to in terms of y. So we take this equation right here and we write this as 3x is equal to 9 minus y or x equals 1 third times 9 minus y and substitute that in here for x. Let's see what we get now. Limits, of course, when we integrate over dy, that's from 0 to 9. So this would be equal to the integral from 0 to 9. We have a 1 third here when we plug that into x, so we'll put that in the front. 1 third times y squared, and what we have left is the quantity 9 minus y dy, which can then be written as 1 third times the integral from 0 to 9, times 9y squared minus y cubed all times dy. And now we're ready to integrate that integral. This is equal to 1 third times 9y cubed over 3. And that would be minus y to the fourth over 4. All right. I guess the best thing to do here is to sum, oh, and I have my limits, right? 0 to 9, can't forget about those. Now I think we'll just go ahead and plug in the limits. When we plug in the lower limits, we get 0, so we only need to plug in the upper limits. So the second moment of area with respect to the x-axis is equal to 1 third times. Plug in the upper limit, we get 9 cubed times 9, which is 9 to the fourth power. Now 9 to the fourth power is equal to 81 squared. And 81 squared is equal to 80 squared plus twice the product of the two, which is 80 plus 1 squared. That's 6400, that's 6560, that's 6561. So we get 6561 divided by 3 minus 6561 divided by 4. Now since the common denominator is 12, and the difference here is 1 in the denominators, this simplifies to 1 third times 6561 divided by 12 or 6561 divided by 36. Now for that, I need a calculator. 6561 divided by 36 is 182.25. 182.25, and of course, if the units were standard units and everything was in meters, we would end up with meters to the fourth power. And that's, oh, be careful here, that's a 1. And uh, that's how we calculate the second moment of area of this particular triangle relative to the x-axis.